ABN is a 11 unique digit number that identifies your business or organization. Also, there is an important catch that you can run number of business 1, 2, 3, there is no limit and there is no one to keep the track of your work time because it's your own business. So it's an offense to carry on business under an unregistered business name unless you trade under your own name. Yes, you can absolutely start your own business while studying in Australia. But there are some things that you need to consider before starting your business. So without wasting much time, let's jump in. Not every business needs to register for GST. Usually you must register for GST when your GST turnover is 75,000 or more. And how about if I give you some business ideas as well? Hold on. If investigated, Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Smart Migrant Academy. Today we are diving into a question I get a lot from international students. Can you actually run your own business while studying in Australia? The short and simple answer is yes, you can absolutely start your own business while studying in Australia. But there are some things that you need to consider before starting your business. So without wasting much time, let's jump in. First thing first, your visa. You need to ensure whether your visa will allow you to work or not. For example, if someone is coming on tourist visa, they usually don't have the work rights. But if you are coming as a student and you have a valid student visa, then usually you will get a work right in Australia. But there is a work limit of 48 hours fortnightly in Australia while you are studying. But if your course is not in session, you can work unlimited. Also, there is an important catch that you can run number of business 1, 2, 3, there is no limit and there is no one to keep the track of your work time because it's your own business. Hold on, if investigated and you won't be able to prove that you are working under the limit of 48 hours, then there is a trouble. That's why international students partner with permanent resident and Australian citizen to have a safety net. There are some other visa that are specifically for business like business innovation stream, investment stream and I have made a specific video how you can get permanent residency with business visa. So do check the video, I'll put the link in description. Next important requirement is Australian business number, short form is ABN. ABN is a 11 unique digit number that identifies your business or organization. It is a mandatory requirement. You need to have ABN before you start running your own business. And the good part is, it is free and easy to apply. I'll put the link in the description where you can find steps to apply for ABN or if you want me to make a separate video then I'll make one. Just comment down below. Next important thing is business name registration. So it's an offense to carry on business under an unregistered business name unless you trade under your own name. For example, if I'm doing a business under my name, Daksh Sharma, then it's fine. But if I'm doing a business under Smart Migrant Academy, then it needs to be registered. Additional requirement is GST registration. Not every business needs to register for GST. Usually, you must register for GST when your GST turnover is 75,000 or more. So you don't have to worry at initial stage. So these are the basic requirements that you need to keep in your mind before you start your own business in Australia. And how about if I give you some business ideas as well. So on the first is Tiffin service. It's my favorite. Like me, there are so many international students and migrants who crave for homemade food. So if you are good at it, then please start your Tiffin service as there's so many people, international students who can't go out every day to eat they don't have enough time to cook. So Tiffin service would be a fantastic idea to start with. Second is tutoring and education service. This is classic for international students with strong academic background because there are so many platforms in Australia where you can simply register and start tutoring any specific subjects, any language or any test preparation. Next top third business idea is import and export. If you have connection in your home country, then you could import some unique handicrafts or products to sell in Australia. There are so many people who buy items from China and sell it here at higher price. And you can sell stuff 
either through online or from local market and just to let you know if you want more options then i have made a video on best options for side hustle in australia i'll put the link in the description as well so just ensure that you understand the visa rights and business requirement and if you have got any question then i'm here to help and comment down below what you think would be the best business idea for international students and share with our community so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time See ya.